Good afternoon, my fellow knife enthusiasts. Spec Operator 4 here from sunny South Florida. As you can see in front of you, we have a Spartaco review. Haven't done one in a while. Spartaco was the knife company that started my addiction. And of course, you guys know it snowballed from there. And my first Spartaco, like many others, was a Tenacious. I remember thinking at the time that $40, $50 for a knife was outrageous, um, it was ridiculous, I was going to treasure this knife, I was going to, you know, make it a safe queen, I wasn't going to scratch it, and <laughs> obviously you guys know how it goes from there, okay? So in front of you here we have our Spyderco Domino, alright? I'm sure you guys can tell by now this is not the regular version, this is the Bento Box version. Okay, this has the upgraded 204P. That action is so sweet on this knife. Okay, as you can see, the 204P. Alright, it's got the... The camera doesn't do it justice, I'm sure, but it's a very shocking blue, um, bright blue G10. Beautiful scale. Alright, we got the titanium uh, slab on the lock side here. Now, the original Domino comes with the parkerized pocket clip. The black uh, parkerized pocket clip there. This one comes with the polished, which I like because it is matching the polished hardware. The action on this is buttery smooth. Um, I love the ability to use the spidey hole and the flipper, which for me, if you're going to get a spider coat, I mean, it needs that hole, so I'm glad they kept that there. And I mean, obviously, they patented it, so I love playing around with the spidey hole. I love playing around with the flipper. It just gives you different options, um, both push button and light switch. This works great. Just an excellent knife all around. Um, it's coming in at around four ounces. I couldn't get the exact specs with the G10, um, but the carbon fiber is four ounces, 4.1. So let's just say we'll go around that because I know the carbon fiber is a laminate, I believe, and not actual carbon fiber. So the G10 couldn't weigh that much more. Um, may weigh less actually. But anyway, 3.1 inch blade, okay. Just incredible grind lines on these Spartacos. Alright. Let's put it up next to a couple other of my favorites. So I had said that the Tenacious was my first Spartaco, and this is actually my first Spartaco, my first folded knife. Well, quality folded knife that I, you know, I've always been in knives. I've had pocket knives before, you know, $5, $10 ones. But as you can see, it's been used a little bit there. Okay, the black's starting to come off. It's my black tenacious. Of course, you had to grab the green. Okay. So we'll put that up next to it. It's actually very similar in size. Um, although the cutting edge on the domino is only 2.8 inches with a 3.1 inch blade. So it's actually very similar to my strider I just got in. A lot of people's complaints about the Strider actually is the fact that the blade length is 3.5 inches and the cutting length is only 2.8. Okay, so obviously uh, the Domino doesn't have a 3.5 inch blade, just a 3.1 and a 2.8 inch uh, cutting edge, almost 2.9 inch. All right, but for me, um, I, like I said, it doesn't bother me a 2.8 inch cutting edge. I can grab the knife up here. Do some uh, fine cutting with that. Gives me the ability. I'm not using this as a tactical or a self-defense blade. This is going to be my user. I've been carrying it non-stop. I haven't put it down. Just love this knife. Um, so anyway. But yeah, you have that finger choil, the upper uh, finger choil up here. So that's what's causing the blade cutting edge to be a little shorter than the actual blade. But that's fine for me. Jimping on the back. Okay. Just fit in hand is... Wow. Okay. Great knife all around. Love this knife. Okay, I believe this was the second flipper. The Brad Southerd was the first. I believe this was the second. The Dice was the third. And our Rubicon was the fourth flipper for uh, Spyderco. Could be wrong, but I think that's how it went. This is a, a great knife as well. International Knife of the Year. Um, just way too pretty for me to carry. A little thick. Great, great knife. Um, action on this is great. It's got the ball bearings in there. 
okay? So if you line them up, almost almost the same length there, maybe a little uh, longer with the domino. But the domino's handle on this is it's actually a little longer. This is a three inch blade, another one of my favorite uh, Spydercos. Okay, so if you line the blade up, it's a three inch blade here. Same thing with the finger choil, you got a shorter cutting edge on that. But same blade length, say, okay? Three inch, 3.1. But look at the handle length. Okay, so the handle length on the domino is much longer, making the knife much longer. Okay, if you can see here, line those up. Okay, so you can definitely see a difference there. Okay, this weighing I, uh, about an ounce less, I would say, the, the sage here. All right, so if you're thinking about the domino, there's a lot of videos up there, okay? There's the Sage 2, your domino bento box, paramilitary 2, which used to be my favorite Spyderco, but now the, sa the uh, domino has taken over, okay? So I just wanted to throw this up, definitely my favorite Spyderco, and wanted to show my bento box version. Now the bento box is only going for $209, $209 for the uh, bento box. And the regular version now is going for around $199, $190. So why not spend the little extra if you can? Grab the higher quality steel there. It's just not your everyday uh, domino, which I, I like. Now when the domino first came out, I believe it was $160, you know, $170. Popularity just uh, jacked up the price there. All right, well, Spyderco Domino Bento Box 204P. Uh, God bless everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.